Now, as promised, um, to be a nut comes to a concluding tip with uh, carbohydrate loading. Now, um, as we are about uh, less than a week to Crazy Ultra, a lot of people has been asking me how to really go about doing the proper carbohydrate to actually last the entire crazy journey. Regardless, are you doing the 43 kilometers? 78, 101, or attempting the full 100 miles, carbohydrate loading definitely has a role to play in the preparation of this uh, ultra journey. La. Most of the time, people don't quite understand why are they, why should they do carbohydrate loading. Essentially, carbohydrate or CHO, now throughout the whole slides, you keep seeing the acronym CHO, it is actually referring to carbohydrate. The purpose of um, carbohydrate loading is to actually fill up your muscle stores. Now you just imagine that your muscle stores are like fridge or refrigerators. Before you started on your ultra training, your long runs and everything, say maybe some 6-7 months ago, the amount of food that your muscle or your fridge can take is probably the size of a hotel bar fridge you know those little things you see in hotels and that say don't open because one can of coke costs five dollars yeah that's the size of your storage space after a prolonged period of training six months eight months some of you even prepared for a year your little bar fridge has now been upgraded to a gigantic industrial size refrigerator. You can store a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff in it. And that carbohydrate is actually stored in your muscle in the form of glycogen. So the training has enlarged your capacity to store more glycogen. The problem is the fridge is actually quite empty. La. So the role of carbohydrate loading is to really fill up that fridge that you have expanded so huge. Before we can actually talk about carbohydrate loading, I need you guys to understand the concept of reading food labels. Because if you don't read food labels or at least have some ideas of how food labels should be read, it becomes quite a big challenge when it comes to planning your carbohydrate loading menu. Now let's take a look at this label here. It says that um, one serving has six crackers and that eating this six biscuit or six crackers will give you 120 calories all of which 19 grams of carbohydrate are inside. So in a nutshell by eating six biscuit you get 19 grams of carbohydrate. Okay, so this is how you read food labels. Look at the carbohydrate. Look at how much food of that item make up one serving and how much carbohydrate in terms of grams do you get from that one serving. Because you will actually load, you will actually prepare your loading plan in terms of grams of carbohydrate. Hence, you need to know this food that you're taking, how many grams of carbohydrate or CHO are you consuming? As I said earlier, the purpose of carbohydrate loading is to maximize your glycogen stores so that you will actually race with a full tank or in this case a full fridge. La. Gigantic fridge, lots of food, good race ahead. Now, a typical loading process takes about three days so in our case crazy ultra starts on saturday morning your loading should start as early as wednesday in the first two days consume 8 to 10 grams per kg body weight of carbohydrate and in the last day on the third day which is friday consume 10 to 12 grams per kg body weight in other words if you are a 70 kg adult for the first two days, you should try to consume about 700 grams of carbohydrate. So it's taking 8 to 10 grams, multiply by your 
body weight to give you the amount of carbohydrate you should be consuming for the first two days and subsequently the third day. Now, 700 grams of carbohydrate is actually a very huge portion of food to consume. So in order to effectively maximize your intake, your carbohydrate intake, a couple of rules that I usually tell people is number one, um, minimize your fat and protein intake. Reason being fat actually trigger off a neural, uh, neural signal giving you a very satisfied feeling. You, you should realize by now that every time you eat deep fried food, you have a very short feeling. That's what I call satisfied feeling. And after that, you don't feel like eating anymore. Um, minimize protein because uh, for that few days, actually, um, protein tends to trap water and it, that makes you full. When it comes to carbohydrate, rule number two for effective loading, uh, you would want to use refined simple carbohydrate. Yes, you're hearing it right. You, are, you have to read. You would want to use simple carbohydrate simply because your complex carbohydrate are usually fiber rich. Um, this is uh, uh, counter effective because uh, fiber once again traps water and makes you feel full. So you would want to minimize fiber intake. So simple carbohydrate like your soft drinks, your jelly beans, your fruit puddings, these are great sources of carbohydrate to use for your loading. The question that a lot of people always ask me, fine, you said to use some um, liquid carbohydrate, uh, in this case um, soft drinks. Is it better to use uh, isotonic drinks or is it better to use your regular soft drink like Coke, Pepsi, etc. I would always say go for the conventional soft drink not your isotonic drink because in terms uh 100 mils by 100 mils um, your mainstream soft drinks actually contain a lot more sugar than your isotonic drink so it's actually for in terms of consuming the same amount it is logical or it's more economical to drink the soft drinks instead of the isotonic drinks to get the carbohydrate and how do you know that your loading has been successful? Um, on the last day, on Friday night, when you're weighing yourself, if you put on, say, 2 kg or so, congratulations, your carbohydrate loading has been successful. Simply because for every 1 gram of carbohydrate that is stored in your body, about 3 grams of water gets trapped. So you're pretty much putting on water weight and um, don't worry so much about it. It, it. it tends to go away after the race, alright? So what we see here is a um, sample loading manual for a, a sample plan for a 60 kg runner. You can see that to effectively consume this much of carbohydrate, the distribution is spread out across quite a few meals. In this case, one, two, three, four, five, six meals, three main meals and a couple of snacks here and there. And you can see he tend to, in this manual, we rely a lot on fluid because fluid sources of carbohydrate gets digest um, relatively faster and easier than solid food though. Now um, that brings us to the end of uh, to be a tip, uh, to be a nut tip all these months actually. Uh, it's been a quite exciting time sharing all these scientific tips and findings from last year research with all of you. Um, you can help me in one thing if you're hearing this. Uh, you see, part of the, the purpose of Crazy Ultra, we want to ensure that you're hydrating safely. So on actual race day, on Saturday uh, morning, we will measure your weight before you start the race. So after you have um, collect your beep, settle your special needs bag and uh, check in your baggage, uh, please hop over to the weighing scale. There will be students there and allow us to take your weight before the race. After the race, we will do the same thing. Reason why we are doing this is that we want to ensure that um, you won't over drink. La. Because should you put on weight after the race, chances are it is due to over drinking and we will strongly advise you to stop drinking to prevent what we call exercise associated hyponatremia. This is a condition whereby the amount of salt in your blood gets diluted due to consuming too much fluid and it can be fatal. For the 78, 101 and uh, 100 miles runners, we will measure your weight at the U-turn checkpoint. 
So assuming your 100 miles runners at checkpoint 8, we will take your weight before you leave the station. Uh, this should not take more than a minute of your time. So I really do hope that you guys uh, help me out in this case so that we can actually ensure that everyone can finish the race safely. Alright, so uh, that's it then. I hope that all of you have been training well in this last few days. Uh, stay healthy, stay safe, carbohydrate enough, and I'll see you on Saturday morning at the weighing scale then. Ciao.